stuff seems to be lagging a bit now. It's probably because, I mean, even though I don't have a lot of, like, normal mods active, I do have sort of distant land generation stuff active. That seems to be, that combined with frap seems to chew up. Um, not really my graphics processor uh, time. It does seem to cause a bit of a lag, probably more because of my hard disk than my Farewell. stuff. Okay, this is actually uh, where the what? people are apparently. Well met. Come warm yourself by our fire. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, maybe I should do that for a while. Hold on. Take a seat here at your fire and warm myself for uh, like an hour, maybe. Enjoying your hospitality. How are you? Thank you very much. Oh, I'm fine. Thanks. Much better now that I rested a bit and warmed there. up a bit. What do you want? Oh, no. Be Just seeing you. Talking to you. You were so nice to me before. Hm. Welcome, traveller. We're all so worried about the goblins, we may not be as hospitable as we should be. Oh, goblins, really are. I saw some goblins over here. Everything was going well. We had set up camp at Cropsford, and it looked like a beautiful spot. Then the goblins attacked. Thank Ifra that Marissa was there. Without her, the goblins would have surely killed us all. So Marissa, was that the red girl I just talked to? My father hired her as a guide at an inn south of here. Crops for it was my father's dream for us all to start a new life there. Barthel Garnard is my father. I'm worried about him. Okay, so yeah, you're Take care. clearly in a lot of trouble here. Oh, that's the one, isn't it? Well, my friend, a word of advice. Watch for goblins if you're heading north. Yeah, I've seen them already. Watch out for them if you're heading north. We ran into goblin war parties northwest of here while my family and I are still trying to figure out what to do. Say, do you think you could help us? We need to get the goblins off our land so we can start building our new settlement. I'll kill them my best if I can manage. I don't like to kill things, but if they make cause problems for you, I'll at least look into it and see what I can do, okay? Well, maybe I'll help. I had a good feeling about you, friend. You should talk to Marisa about the goblins. Right, I'll do that. Um, where is Cropsford anyway? It's northwest of here along the yellow road. Right. And now I've got a map marker for it. Brilliant. We plan to call it Cropsford. My daughter Kalia, her husband Aloys, and I, we have a charter from the county. Everything done official and by the book. I'm sure now that they knew all along that the hand was in goblin territory. Right. Goodbye. So that's Marissa. Good day. Huh? You've agreed to help them clear the goblins from Cropsford? Uh, that's great news. Not to clear I've them all away. I've done some scouting around while we've been camped here. And it looks like Cropsford is right in the middle of a goblin war. Oh, they're fighting each other then. The caves around here are infested with goblins. But two tribes are at war. And their war parties are crossing right through Cropsford. What you'll need to do is stop the war somehow. Now that sounds like something I'd try, but how do you stop a goblin war? Goblins have their own reasons for doing things. Don't make sense to us, usually. But I've learned a lot about their ways. Each tribe guards a head in its lair. Whose head, I don't know. Anyway, if you want to rile up a goblin tribe, steal their tribal head. I'd lay odds that the war between the two tribes is because of a stolen tribal head. So, to stop the war, all you need to do is sneak into Timberscar Cave, find the stolen tribal head, and return it to the Crackwood Cave Goblins. Unless you want to do things the hard way. Uh, what do you mean the hard way? Well, you could always just fight your way into Crackwood Cave and kill their shaman. No. Every goblin tribe is led by a shaman. But kill the shaman, and the tribe will dissolve into confusion. No. No and no. Good luck. Thanks. Um. 
I would definitely prefer to recover the totem head from the goblins in Timber Skull. Okay. And don't underestimate the goblins. They're more dangerous than they look. Yeah. I don't doubt it. Have I got a quest marker to Timber Skull Cave? No, I've got one to Cracked Wood Cave. The other way to kill the goblins away from goblins is to kill the shaman of the Cracked Wood. Means the other cave is goodbye, darling. There, must well be. Okay, let's head off in that direction, then, shall we? Here we are. I'm supposed to steal the totem head. I think. Spell may be very useful to me. I just want to fire up the uh, spell for detecting life first. Yeah, well, I think there's a goblin over there. He's too far away from my detection spell. That them, I guess. But let's... And there's another one in there. Oh. This one is gonna notice me very, very soon, so... Yep. He hasn't noticed me just yet though, so maybe if I can... Uh... I won't be able to sneak past the bottle. He's headed right for me, so I think it's time to disappear a little. Where's the quest marker now? Uh. Hmm. Oops. Not good, not good, not good. That goblin running out. the darn thing because now yeah that's the one what has it and I'm supposed to Okay. Trying to take it did not much help. Who's this one? It's a war chief. Okay. I'm invisible. You can't see me. trying to activate him does is uh make sure he actually notices me I it's like I can't actually try and steal anything 
from it. It's very, very annoying. Let me guess. Okay, let me guess. You probably can't steal things from monsters, is that it? Just steal things from people? So I actually have to kill this thing? Ooh. 